Some of the most important work today is being done in the Earth and Atmospheric Sciences. We are trying to understand literally how our planet works. I'd say my major is about how you can apply engineering and scientific approaches to solve real world problems. Like what drives climate change and can we predict hazards like volcanic eruptions and earthquakes? I chose this program because coming into college, I knew what my ultimate goal was going to be was to work with climate change and work with sustainability. And I thought that the best way to actually get involved with that was to really learn about the climate science. We are the basic science that informs engineering solutions. But this basic science allows you to do a lot of different things and work in a lot of different fields. When you learn how to use satellite imagery for one problem, it's very easy to apply it to something else. You're learning techniques and tools that can be applied to a wide range of issues that are relevant to society. I think one of the most exciting things I'm doing outside of classes involves my activity on CU Geo Data, which is a student-based project team that designs and deploys uh, instrumentation. After graduation, students have a wide variety of opportunities available to them. There are government jobs, like at the U.S. Geological Survey, and there's also a lot of jobs in industry from groups who might be looking at agriculture or groundwater withdrawal. A lot of the things we do now collect a lot of data, and so many of my colleagues also take that information and work in other things related to data science. So I'm getting this really holistic view on how to actually address climate mitigation, adaptation, solutions. Yeah, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Majoring in Earth and Atmospheric Sciences will provide you with the skills to make a real impact.